The National Trade Union Centre says it will send several proposals to government on its own vaccine policy and remains adamant that workers should not be made to get vaccinated to go out to work from next Monday. General Secretary Michael Anisad says the suggestions will soon be sent to the Prime Minister and Attorney General and he wants a fund set up for anyone who may experience adverse effects after getting vaccinated. We must establish, let me repeat it, a vaccine injury compensation fund to provide relief to any and all citizens who may experience loss of life, limb or livelihood as a consequence of the COVID-19 inoculation. Mr. Anisad believes a protocol for adverse reporting must be implemented for absolute transparency. Establish a stringent protocol for the reporting of adverse events and injuries supported by a functional vaccine adverse event reporting system which is publicly accessible and viewable online. NATOC also wants government to ensure a person does not have to disclose their vaccine status even to employers. The medical information should not be disclosed, we are saying that, to employers or to any other member of the public because this serves in our humble view um, no other purpose than to facilitate coercion, victimization and the loss of your job. Mr. Anisad adds that safe zones should also be abolished, saying it gives a false sense of security since people can still get infected. NATOC President James Lambert says the union stand firm that vaccination remain a choice and continues to urge all public servants to exercise their right next Monday. Go to work on the 17th. Sonolala, TTT News.